Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show and welcome to a very noisy Lazouche climbing wall. They very kindly lent us a bit of their space because Chamonix crags are currently under a lot of snow. We're here today to look at the Singing Rock Rama assisted belay device. This is designed for single pitch indoor or outdoor climbing and today we're going to put it to the test. It seems that almost every company is bringing out a belay device now, something that personally we think is great. Brands are pushing themselves to compete with others and as a result, climbers get more choice and generally a better price. So let's talk about the Rama. We're selling it for around 40 euros on the Epic TV shop. It can handle ropes from 8.7 millimeters to 11 millimeters, a nice wide scope, but ropes at the extremes of that spectrum are gonna feel a bit loose or grabby. And anyway, who has an 11 millimeter rope? It weighs 84 grams and is made from light alloy, plastic and stainless steel on the sections that might wear out. It's nicely designed, feels unobtrusive and nestles into the hand. It doesn't come with a carabiner and Singing Rock, surprisingly enough, recommend their own Bora or Oxy carabiners. This is a tubular style device, so no moving parts. It works with friction between the carabiner, the rope and the device. So what is assisted braking? Well, it helps you to brake and prevent the climber from falling. The difference between this and something like a normal ATC is that if there was an accident or a loss of concentration and the climber falls while the belayer isn't holding the dead rope, then the climber is going to hit the ground. With an assisted braking device, there's an extra level of safety built into it. Assisted belay devices sort of lock up when the climber falls or weights the rope. This is great when a climber is working a route as it's easier to hold them in place than with a standard ATC belay device. The Rama can only take one rope, which does limit it a bit. This is aimed for single pitch sport climbing, so no double ropes. It doesn't really work if you try to put a direct belay in from an anchor and you can't abseil with it. I don't really think this is a negative though. It's clear what it's targeted for and concentrates on doing that really well. There are lots of these style of belay devices on the market, and in fact, we've put a few of them to the test. So the question is, what feels different and is it better than the rest? To give slack to the climber, simply hook your thumb underneath the device and lift forwards and up whilst paying it out with your other hand. One of the joys of this style of the device compared to, let's say, a Grigri, is that it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. Top rope mode works exactly as you'd expect. V, knee, one, two, three, to safely take the climber up the wall. And of course, with that assisted braking device, it's another layer of safety if something was to go wrong. There's two methods of lowering the climber back down to the ground. Number one, you hook your thumb underneath the front of the device and feed the slack through your hands. Alternatively, you can tilt the device forward with your free hand whilst feeding the slack through with the other. This is down to personal preference. However, I've found with a lighter climber, it's easier to grab the device and tilt it forwards and down compared to the other method. The device locks up quickly when the climber weights the rope or falls off, and you can easily transition from hanging around on the rope to the climber climbing again. Down. Right, that's the end of our session at Lazouche and it is super noisy in that climbing wall. So we thought we'd retreat to my car so I can tell you guys what I think of the Rama belay device. Ah, much better in here. So what do I think of the Rama? Well, I reckon you're the kind of person who's either going to love a tubular assisted belay device or you're not because it is a slightly strange action. Having that thumb pushed forward and up can feel a little bit alien to some people but it is something that very quickly you get used to. I like how the Rama feels in your hand. It's nicely designed, the curves are lovely and it's very smooth and that plastic, it's, it's strangely almost warm on your fingers and it's ergonomically designed so you can hold it and you can belay for a long time without it getting uncomfortable. 
The giving slack action feels great, lowering is good, and what I especially like about the Rama is that it encourages good bee laying. If you have the rope set up properly, if you're feeding slack at the correct time and not short roping your climber, if you're lowering properly with the proper technique, it really helps you to do that. However, if you start kind of moving into bad habits, then the Rama will punish you. It will feel a little bit grabby or a little bit odd when it lowers. And I like a device that makes you a better bee layer. I think that's a real plus. I think the Rama is a very good beginner bee lay device, and that's because of how safe it is. If you give someone who's just started lead bee laying a, a normal ATC style device, then if there's an accident, if there's a loss in concentration and they let go of that dead rope, your climber's gonna hit the ground. But with something like this, with this tubular style, device if you let go of that dead rope which you never should then it's got your back and it's a lot less fiddly than something like a click up or a grigri so although more experienced climbers can use it i think it hits perfectly that climber who's just about to start climbing more outdoors or indoors in the lead climbing world of course, it's got its limitations. You can't really abseil on it, you can't use double ropes, you can't direct belay with this device. And therefore, if you're a sport climber who's indoors or outdoors, then you're gonna love it. But if you do more mountaineering or trad climbing, then you're gonna find this device quite limiting. But then you should be looking at other things anyway, like the DMM pivot, something like that that's more set up to those styles of climbing. So we've only used this a little bit today and we will be testing it out more in the future. So do let me know what you think in the comments below. For me, I like this little thing, it's cool. I don't really wanna give it back and that's always a sign of a good device. So thanks for watching, have an amazing weekend and I'll see you soon. All right, let's get out of here.